You know, it's so easy for us to think as musicians and worship leaders that, that worship is about music. But it's so much more than that. Music's just really a vehicle for that. You know, I, I think that Psalm 33.3 is a prophetic vision of what God wants worship to be like. You know, it says this, it says, Sing to the Lord a new song, play skillfully, and shout for joy. And that tells us three things. Well, first of all, it's Psalm 33, 3, and 3, 3, 3 is the Trinity. You know, you've got the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And for worship leaders, we are supposed to worship in the Trinity that we are, spirit, soul, and body. And that's what that Psalm talks about. It talks about singing to the Lord a new song. That's the spiritual aspect of worship. It says, you know, if worship is just something that we do by rote and we just repeat it over and over again, that's just a religious exercise. That's not spiritual worship. And then it says, play skillfully. That's what we do with our bodies. And so we're supposed to develop skillfully. You know, the, the worshipers in the Old Testament, they had to practice five to seven years before they were, were even allowed on the worship team. And then it says, and then shout for joy. And that's our spirit, soul, and our body. That's our soul. That's our soul, our emotions, our mind, our will, and our emotions. And what attitude do we have? We, we have them with an attitude of, of joy enthusiasm in God and theos is enthusiasm that means it's in God when God breathes into us then we've got the Holy Spirit that flows through us then that's the kind of soul that God wants to lead worship